All right, folks. Hopefully everyone's doing well. You're all hunkered in there. So while you're hunkered in home today, I figure I'll give you a lesson on OFDM, Orthogonal Frequency Division Multiple Access. And you might say to yourself, what the hell is that? Well, the reality is you are watching this movie today because of OFDM. If you're watching this movie through your Wi-Fi, through your smartphone, using the 4G networks, the bits are coming into your little box, folks, and they're using OFDM to get in there and to get out of there. And today we're going to give an understanding of what is orthogonal frequency division multiple access. But it always comes down to a history lesson. So let's just say we got a carrier here at 2.4 gigahertz and the FCC has given us 20 megahertz of bandwidth and we need to get data out of our box. Well, if we're given 20 megahertz of bandwidth, that means I can do something at 50 nanosecond rates. So one of the first ideas might be, well, we'll just phase shift the sine wave every 50 nanoseconds based on whether we have a zero or a one in our binary data. And that was probably the very first ideas. Uh, but you'll soon see why these very fast phase shifts are not going to work in a communication channel. And we'll get into that, of course. All right, folks, so here is our transmitter here, right? Here's our receiver. And the reality is it's going to get a direct wave but it's also going to get multipath. It might bounce off the house here and then come into the radio. It might bounce off the lawn and then come into the radio. So the radio is going to have these three time shifted signals coming into this receiver and they're all going to be shifted in time. Well with that very small 50 nanosecond shifting they're all going to be overlapping on each other and that receiver is not going to be able to decode what was originally transmitted. So we can't really achieve this 50 nanosecond phase shifts because all the multipath effects will mess it up. Well you can say one method is to slow it down. Well that is that is true. But is there another way? Can we get effectively a 50 nanosecond phase shifts but n and somehow deal with this nasty multipath? And that is what OFDM does for us. Okay? Here's the idea of what OFDM says. Orthogonal frequency division says Let's use many radio carriers instead of one radio carrier. So here is our original idea. We're going to have one sine wave and we're going to shift it at a 50 nanosecond rate and it's going to occupy all this spectrum of 20 megahertz. That's the first idea. But we've already said how that's not going to work. So what OFDM says, instead of doing one radio signal, Let's do many radio signals or carriers within the 20 megahertz bandwidth. And each one of these guys will shift phase at a slower rate than the original one, actually one eighth, one nth the rate. So it's basically like many radio stations all doing phase shift keying, but at a one one nth the speed of what this guy was. That is what OFDM really does for us. It basically says we're going to put all of the phase shifts on many radio signals and we're going to divide up the bits so that 
One of the bit will go here, the next one will go there, there, all the way, all the way to fill out the 20 megahertz. So that's what OFDM says. And you might ask, well, how many carriers? Well, let's get into it. OFDM could say we're going to put 4,096 carriers, 4,096 individual radio signals all within that 20 megahertz bandwidth. And each carrier or each radio signal will effectively be doing a much slower phase shift rate. Rather than 50 nanoseconds, it's now going to be over 200 micro, which is still fast, but it's much easier to deal with that than 50 nanoseconds. So here, each carrier does phase shift keying at a lower rate, right? We're now shifting the data at 200 microseconds instead of this crazy 50 nanoseconds. All right, that is what OFDM says. Basically says, rather than putting everything on one radio carrier, let's split the data payload and put it on many carriers within that bandwidth. That is the power of OFDM and why it works so much better. Hopefully you're getting that. And the real advantage of the OFDM is that it's taking advantage of the IFFT and FFT. And these are very standard operations today in our DSP world. So we would start with a 4096 array, which we would put the phase shift data in here, right? Then we would take the IFFT, that would convert this data now into a time domain signal that we transmit. And this dotted line here represents the transmit side versus the receiver. So then on the receiver side, when the data comes in, we do the FFT and we get back our 4096 array and we break down the bits to decode our original data payload. So this is a very typical thing in OFDM that they can have easily this many carriers within the bandwidth. So that is what OFDM says. It's basically like saying, let's put 4,000 radio stations all transmit at the same time, each of them doing a much lower data rate. All right? That's the big takeaway I want to give you guys. You can get into all the gory math, but I'm not going to. And uh, here's just the final example. So, right, here's the one carrier approach. We got our binary data, we put it into a phase shift keying, we amplify it, we send it out to the antenna. Well, we've already shown to do this very high data rate with one carrier is very impractical because of multipath. So what OFDM says, <laughs> symbolically, is let's take this data here and put it down like this and put each one out its own little frequency phase shift keyed. Then we're going to add them all up, amplify it, and send that out the antenna. And now the data rate has reduced, right? In this case, it's reduced by one ninth of whatever that data rate was. In reality, OFDM, like I said, could be 4096 carriers. So it's going to reduce this data rate by one, one over 4096. And that's a much slower data rate, and it's much better to handle the multipath. So I hope that explains what OFDM is and why it works better than this uh, original idea where we just try to shove all the data on one sine wave. This says we will parallelize the data and put it on many sine waves, add them together, amplify them, send that out the antenna. Well. Hopefully that explains everything to everybody. Again, here is the one carrier with all the bandwidth. OFDM says let's break it up into many carriers, which with each carrier doing a lower data rate than the one carrier's data rate. So you still have the same effective data rate 
It's just that now instead of putting it all on one carrier, switching very fast, you're now putting the data on many carriers or many sine waves doing one nth the data rate. And then that's all summed back into the receiver and you still get the same effective data rate. It's just a much cleverer way of transmitting the data. Well, hopefully you learned something about OFDM and that is how you've watched this video along with all my other YouTube videos. So when you're streaming movies and watching things on your Wi-Fi, realize the data is getting there thanks to OFDM.